the land of Israel, a timeless land where a thousand years are but as yesterday when it is past and as a watch in the night. This is holy land where the word of God was made manifest. This is the land that received the law written on tables of stone by the finger of God and handed down to Moses on Mount Sinai. Here it was written, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. And here the prophets of ancient Israel first saw the vision of a coming Messiah who one day would redeem the world. Behold, said Isaiah, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace. And in the fullness of time, this land of promise saw the marvel of his coming. In the village of Nazareth, there lived a virgin whose name was Mary. And the angel Gabriel was sent by the Lord to speak to Mary. And Gabriel said unto her, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt bring forth a son and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be called Son of the Highest, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, for he hath regarded the lower state of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. All this happened in an obscure district of a small out-of-the-way province under the rulership of Imperial Rome. And in those days there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed, every one to his own city. And Mary, being great with child, went with her espoused husband Joseph up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because Joseph was of the house and lineage of David. But in Bethlehem, there was no room for them in the inn. And so it was, that while they were there, the days were accomplished that Mary should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. As the angel had commanded, they called his name Jesus, for he would save his people from their sins. And there were in the same country shepherds keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. 
For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And the shepherds came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And they worshipped him, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, which the Lord had made known unto them. them in her heart. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, there came wise men from the east seeking him, for they had seen a strange new star in the heavens, and they followed it. Wise men came to Jerusalem, to the court of Herod the Great, to inquire, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and are come to worship him. But Herod was much troubled to hear of a new king who might displace him. When you find him, he said, return and tell me of it, that I may worship him also. But Herod meant to destroy him. So the wise men continued their search. And lo, the star went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. And when they saw the young child, they fell down and worshipped him. And they opened their treasures and presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of God not to return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Then in a dream, the angel of the Lord also warned Joseph, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. So Joseph took the child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt, and Herod knew not of it. And Herod, in his rage at being duped by the wise men, ordered his soldiers to slay all children in Bethlehem two years old and under, thinking to destroy Jesus among them. weeping for her children because they were no more. But far away with his mother in the land of Egypt, the infant Jesus was safe from harm. After a time, 
there was again cause to give thanks when the angel of the Lord came anew to guide them, saying, They are dead which sought the young child's life. So Joseph took the child and his mother and returned to the land of Israel into Galilee to dwell in the city of Nazareth. There the childhood years of Jesus were passed in the home of his good father Joseph, who was a carpenter. And the child grew and waxed strong in spirit, and the grace of God was upon him. The years passed, and the boy Jesus began to learn the craft of the carpenter from his father Joseph. Now he was 12 years of age, and the time had come for him to make a memorable journey. His parents, being devout Jews, took him to Jerusalem, 90 miles away, to observe the feast of the Passover. And in the great city, he became separated from them, and they sought him everywhere. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and his answers. saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, Knew ye not that I must be about my father's business? And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. But Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. But of the next 18 years of his life on earth, nothing was recorded. Then among the people of the land of Israel, after a silence of more than 400 years, a new prophet arose who spoke as Isaiah and Jeremiah had spoken before him. It was the voice of one crying in the wilderness and saying, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. His name was John the Baptist. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts whether or not John were the Christ, the Messiah. But John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. 
he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Then Jesus himself, though sinless, came to the Jordan to be baptized in dedication for his coming ministry, and John baptized him. And the Holy Ghost descended like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven, which said, Thou art my beloved Son, in thee I am well pleased. And Jesus was about 30 years of age as his ministry began. Now Jesus went throughout Galilee, preaching the glad tidings of the kingdom of God in every city and village, and the common people heard him gladly. He said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And he said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. He asked them, What shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And the people were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. And when they questioned him, asking when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them, saying, Behold, the kingdom of God is within you. They called him rabbi, which is to say, teacher. And it was said of him, of a truth, this is the prophet. And there went out a fame of him through all the region round about. He taught also in the synagogues, but many were offended at him, saying, from whence hath this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is given unto him? Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary? And others mocked, saying, Out of Galilee ariseth no prophet. Now as Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew his brother casting a net, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. He ordained twelve to be with him, and they said, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the apostle Andrew, John, the disciple whom Jesus loved, and Simon, surnamed Peter. From the beginning, they were eyewitnesses and ministers of his word. But Jesus said, I have chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil. He spake of Judas Iscariot, for it was he that should betray him. The works that I do, he said, bear witness of me that the Father hath sent me. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him, healing them all. When the people saw the miracles he did, they said, Of a truth, this is the Christ, 
the Messiah. All men did marvel at his deeds. They were astonished with a great astonishment. His words fell like balm on the afflicted. He would say, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. Or, rise, take up thy bed and walk. the world began, it was not heard that any man opened the eyes of one that was born blind. No man, they said, can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with divers diseases and torments, and those which were possessed with devils, and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy, and he healed them. And they also brought young children to him that he should touch them. and his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he put his hands upon them and blessed them. said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name, receiveth me. From Galilee and from Decapolis and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan, there followed him great multitudes of people to hear him speak. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God.
And on the mount, he gave the world a rule of life and living, which coming generations would call golden. He said, Therefore, all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. Thus he spoke and thus he taught in the little land of Israel 2,000 years ago, and his words changed the hearts of men around the world. Of him it was written, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. His law was love. To his disciples, for all mankind, he said, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. 